Welcome back folks, glad to see every single one of you today. Now my name is Alan and welcome to Adventures of an Average Dad. Our home park is Knott's Berry Farm. We also do other theme parks and we're always looking for new and exciting adventures. Today we are back here in Disney's California Adventures at Buena Vista Park for two reasons. Number one, to go to the Hollywood backlot and to see the Hollywood store and see what they put in there because they did have a lot of Christmas merchandise in there. Number two, Knott's Berry Farm really got me loving collecting pens from their 100th anniversary last year. And I know Disney is known for their pin collections. So we're gonna start a pin collection today. We're gonna buy a couple of pins, but let's go ahead, head off to the back lot first and see what's up going over there. So currently the Gone Hollywood store is closed. So let's go ahead and make our way back up front. So let's go ahead and go inside the Five and Dine and check out to see what kind of pins they have, man, because I'm excited to start this pin collection. So here we are at the Five and Dine and we are gonna look for pins, man. Whole mission here is to look for pins. Now I'm not very familiar, oh, here we go. There's some pins right over there. So let's go ahead to the pin area. So here are the prices of the pins. They do have different colors and each color signifies different prices for each pin. Now I am new to this whole pin trading thing, but like I said, Knott's Berry Farm's 100th pin collections got me really interested in collecting pins. So let's start our pin collection today. Oh, look at that one. It's Mary. That one's pretty cool. Look at that Peter Pan one right there. That skull one's pretty cool. I'm also liking these Alice and Wonderland ones. They also have a Cheshire cat. When you look in the mirror, you see his mouth there. Go down, we have the Beast. We have Sebastian. Oh, remember this movie, man? Why should I worry? Why should I care? And then we have some more Cheshire cats right here. And let's go over to this side. Up top over here, we're going to have some Monsters, Inc., some Nemo. Oh, that's cool, Ratatouille, but look at that. I kind of like those slipper ones right here. No one's caught my eye yet. We got some of that. We got Up. We got Coco. Oh, look. Look at these Jack Skellington ones, dude. Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, these ones look pretty, pretty cool. Now I do know some of these are worth money. Like I said, I am all new to this pin collecting stuff. So if you guys are pros at it, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know some tips and tricks. Look at these, Star Wars? Star Wars? Yes, please. What the? Are you serious? That's old school. Oh, nice. Look, we got some Stitch up here. Oh, oh, look. Look, dude, it's Powerline. It's power line, dude. And it's silver. So this one's gonna be $9.99. Power line is going in the collection. You got your Frozen right here. Now we just actually watched this movie last night. We didn't watch that one in a long time. And I really like that movie right here. Look, you got Pua. Oh, 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 look. Darkwing Duck, dude. They have Darkwing Duck. And he has a silver. Okay, Darkwing Duck in the collection. Dude, they have the Muppet Babies. They have Ratchet. They have Tailspin. They got DuckTales. Oh man, I'm definitely going to be spending a lot of money this year. Oh, dude, look. The Gummy Bears. Yeah, ah. gummy bear. So these right here will definitely be going in a collection soon. I just want to start off with some really retro cool stuff. Uh, and this is going to be the whole Pirates theme right here i really like that got this nightmare before christmas pin set and that one's gonna be 21.99 this is pretty rad too dude you got the star wars up here look look you got grogu and then as we pan down you're gonna have some avengers we go down lower you got these disneyland ones right here i like these i think these open up oh yeah look and it's Walt Disney himself. That's pretty cool. But down here at the bottom, you're gonna have some Haunted Mansion themed pens. I like these ones right here, man. 
We've got some Galaxy's Edge launch bay right here. All right here is gonna be your Mickey Mouse and mini pins. Look at this, this retro 1950s style Mickey Mouseketeers pin right down here. And so it looks like those are the only ones that I'm interested over here. And for 70% off, they do have these holiday pins right here. Look at this, look at this. Look. Actually, we're going retro, but I might have to go with this one too. As we leave the first area, now it's time for Big Top Toys. So as I am walking through Big Top Toys, I am not seeing any pins at the moment. But one thing I do see is they do have a sale on their plush characters. It is $22 each when you buy two, regular price $26.99. They have these ones over here, spanning all the way around over here, but on the opposite side is the best part. Check it out. They don't have a lot of these Ewoks left. So if you're an Ewoks fan, for sure come over here. These are on sale. $22 when you buy two or $26.99 when you purchase just one. And they got Yoda. Now as we exit Big Top Toys, we are going to look around the women's department in here for some pins. I don't think they have any pins in this section, but we can go ahead and see. So we do have some of the holiday merchandise still here for 70% off. I'm not seeing any pins in the de women's department, so let's go into the men's department. So they still do have some holiday merch in this area. There's not a lot. It is 70% off. As I look around once again, I don't think there is any pens in this area. So let's keep on going and see if we can find any other pens here. So outside of all this Mandalorian gear and some of this retro gear, I do not see anything in here that has pens or in that store over there. So let's go ahead and walk out of here and go to off the page. So story time. I used to work here at Disneyland back in the day. And actually I was a outdoor vendor. Shout out to Red Team. Red Team, yeah. <clears throat> when Disney's California Adventure first opened, actually I was brought in and trained at Disneyland just to come here to Disney California Adventure. Now, I was in a churro cart down Grizzly River Run, dude. And uh, needless to say, I worked like one hour and then they sent people home because opening day here at DCA, dude, was just a disaster, man. But anyways, enough of that. Let's go inside and let's get to pin trading. Here we go off the page. Now we are here for the pins. The pins are in the back. So let's go ahead and go straight to the pins. Now, the pin selection doesn't look as big as the other one, but they do have these cool ones. Now, I did not see that 2021 pin right there of Jack Skellington or Pooh Bear. I do like those ones right there. And as we scan down, look, you have these retro Mickey and Minnie pins right here. I like that one too. This one also, man. I'm telling you, there's just this retro feel for 2021 for me. And then you got all the princesses and stuff down here. So here we go. We got these pins here also. We got the Star Wars and stuff down here. Now this I did not see at the other place. Check this out, man. Magical Mystery Pin Series, dude. So I guess you buy these and you really don't know what's in there, man. And look, they got some bigger versions down over here. And one thing I did like is this store has a lot, and I mean a lot of starter kits from your lanyards and pens and just to a collection pen set. Like look at this, look at this. Look at it, Nerds Rock. That one's pretty rad. Oh, look, Dapper Dan's. The Dapper Dan's. You got this Star Wars one down here. Look, they got Avengers. And here are 
are some of the starter kits where you do get a lanyard and a pen. So if you do collect pens or lanyards like a must, like should I get a lanyard? Or I've seen people like wear backpacks or like a little fanny packs where it's see-through. So go ahead and let me know down below. Should I get a lanyard or should I just start collecting pens? Since I don't know a lot about the pin collecting and I'm new to this, I think we should go ahead and do the magical mystery pins. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get two of them. Now I guess the decal on the outside is gonna show you kind of what's on the inside. So let's go with this one right here because I saw Peach Dragon. And let's go with this one right here because I saw the Cheshire Cat. So the first one up right there is the Christmas one I got. Now it was 70% off. And look at that, dude. You got Yoda with the Christmas tree, man. That one is pretty rad. And you know I had to get Powerline, dude. Goofy movie? Oh yeah, man. I have this shirt right here and this was one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. So let's get into the pens. Now, I am new to the pen trading, so I don't know if these are good to buy. But these are the characters that you can get in the back. We're shooting for the Cheshire Cat, man. So, fingers crossed, I hope we get the Cheshire Cat. Hold on, these are a lot harder to open than I thought. Okay, I'm dumb, dude. Look, on the bottom is where you open it. So, here we go. Here we go. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. You guys ready? Oh, let's turn it around. Hopefully it is. Oh, hey, we got Jiminy Cricket, man. I ain't mad about Jiminy Cricket. That's a good one, dude. I think that's good for $6.99. I would definitely buy this one again. I think we have to collect all six on this one. So now let's go ahead and open the other one. And here is the other one. Now on this one, you'll be able to get Mickey Mouse, a Dumbo, another Jiminy Cricket, but we're shooting for Elliot. So let's open this one up hopefully we get an elliot on the first shot so the one thing i do like about this kind of style it is a bottle cap kind of style and oh we got dumbo and i'm mad about dumbo dude i'll take dumbo so we got dumbo on this one now i think we do need to buy some more of these next week when we do come try to get simba and all the other characters so thank you very much to every single one of you for taking time out of your day to come on our adventure here at DCA's Bonavista Street to go pin trading. Now, like I said, I am a rookie at pin trading. So if you are a pro, you have any tips or advice, go ahead and comment down below and let me know. Now, we could not do this without you guys. So I thank every single one of you out there for all the support and for you guys watching. If you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead, man. Go down there, click that subscribe button because we'd for sure love to have you on our next adventure. And if you like content like this and you like today's adventure, go ahead and give us a big thumbs up because it helps us bring you better content. Well, you guys have a great day and we will for sure see you next video. Deuces!